USS Excalibur 1. And Shakedown Crew's report. I think this new vessel... Oh, we... Got it moved into was put together by monkeys. Oh, sure, she's got a fine engine indeed, but... Half the doors won't open. Guess whose job it is to make it right? But anyway, hey, hello and welcome to Media League Sigma 6, where characters from different media come together in one place. I'm JNF, and welcome to the final installment of Villains of the Damned DC Marathon. off against Atrocitus, this of the Red Lanterns, Silver the Hedgehog against a Batman villain in From the Future, er, er, and Shadow the Hedgehog getting his butt whooped by, by a Kryptonian villain named General Zod. But we made it to the last villain, Darkseid. The only ones who can stop him are, are Sonic the Hedgehog and Polyester from last year's version. But it looks like he'll he'll need some help from Amy and Tails, Silver, her and of shockingly enough, the shattered glass star screen. So let's sit back, relax, and see how this one will end. Hedgehog and polyester until I have finally obtained the anti life equation. Hey, 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 Dark Side, hey, can we talk? Please, because that polyester character, her individual use mentioned, she has quite the temper, doesn't she? 
She would know when they were just kidding around and resurrecting old DC villains. Is to help me. Yeah, you gotta put help me put into words. Earth, because I don't want to end up <coughs> getting blasted or slashed to bits by her sword or anything like. Go go. Those two can run or hide or watch it. It doesn't matter. I will find the anti-life equation, and nothing will stop me now. We're out of options, Polly. Yeah, Darkseid might be our toughest opponent yet. <laughs> Been there. I've been living the dream it's in my own prison by the evil Autobots in my own making ever since. Are you about ready to break your oath of separacy? You want us to say it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I want to hear you say it. Okay, I can't believe I'm about to do this. We see now, Starscream. We'll need help from our friends and find the anti-life equation at Robotropolis. The fools. They have given away the location of what I seek. The last piece of the anti-life equation, which is in Robotropolis, is for real. And soon, once I get to it, and when I meet him, that anti-life equation will be mine. Okay, let's go. I hope you appreciate, Sonic, that everything that happens from this point is on both yours and Polly's heads. The skies will darken, the oceans will boil, the streets will flow on red with the blood of millions, and only after your last pitiful hope for ex light is extinguished and that I claim the anti-life equation will I end your life. So... Let's go. <gasps> By the galaxies, 
you live! I am not so easily destroyed. Or you are imprisoned that Genesis. And Here I was expecting a challenge from the infamous Blue Hedgehog and the feline I'm from Little Tokyo. You'll get more of a challenge from them after I'm done with you, Dark Side. I'm getting our friends out of here as fast as we can. Oh, see you on the other side, Shadow. Ah, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Just when I thought I thought General Zod bested you, you you just turn up again. By the time you've got to control of the station known as the Death Egg. All of our weapon systems have been disabled. Hold. Hold completely. And you've got little chance of success, of victory in this. Oh, tell me, Shadow. Why delay the inevitable defeat? Eat this time. So, why don't you come down here, here and face me, my, yourself, elf at once, it's all ready. Coming to see you, I am, now. Not this time, Sonic. Are you sure about this? I'm positive. Activate the recording and get out of here. Your Rouge Omega. All done and recorded. And it's been an honor. Hey, guys. If you're seeing this, then that means you did it. You won! You defeated Darkseid and saved Mobius. I knew you could. But this is my last stop. See, when I came into this world, I was just an android copy of an another hedgehog with somebody else's memories. But with your help, these memories, they, they took form. They became my voice, my personality. And then, after a while... I began to make brand new memories of my own. All of these things are what make me who I am. But they are also holding me back. I can't save you all as the ultimate life form. But if I... Erase my memories? Deconstruct myself? The powers I'll leave behind will have the strength to get you through this. I know they will. I just wish there was another way. But I'm leaving this message and others in the hopes that you'll understand why I have to go this time. <laughs> it was actually Optimus Primal who made me realize something I never thought of before. 
There's so many stories where a brave hero decides to give their life to save the day. And because of their sacrifice, the good guys win, the survivors all cheer, and everybody lives happily ever after. But the hero never gets to see that ending. They'll never know if their sacrifice actually made a difference. They'll never know if the day was really saved. In the end, you just gotta have faith. And yep, as Sonic, Polly, Tails, Amian, Silver, and Shatterglass, Starscream, and two members of Team Tar, Bark, escape from the city, Shadow brings the Death Egg crashing down into Robotropolis right on top of Darkseid. <laughs> Well, here we go. Yeah, size matters not according to Yoda unless Shadow wants to drop the death egg right on Darkseid's face. Remember how, how Sky Spy nearly crashed into the Napo village? This time something bigger has Shadow to crash. Hey Vader, remember when you said not to be impressed by the capabilities of the Death Star compared to the Bull Force? I think you may need to reevaluate some things. Or remake some evaluations. Well, I guess it did live up to the name Death Egg, giving Darkseid's own body count. I'm not sure I like Shadow's version of Billiards. So, everybody, uh, everybody who are apparently swap bots are. Robotropolis is dead, right? Even if it didn't explode after the collision and impact, which it did, the gravitational forces would have ripped Robotropolis to shreds when it's that close, right? Hey, hey Yoda, remember when you said Jedi should never be able to use their abilities to attack? I mean, this wasn't even Shadow the Hedgehog Slime. He got, just got drunk on Shadow's own was an Eggman's own fear and had to improvise. I kind of just want to roll my head around this. This is much I bet this was in Darkseid's original Death Egg Quest. In the event, event the weapon systems get disabled, just set a collision course and watch the fun. But, I mean, did Shadow even explain this plan to Polly and Sonic? I said, take over the Death Egg myself and then play bowling at Darkseid. That this made in the first year when the Death Egg prototype was made, made by Eggman, one of his robots got drunk and accidentally slammed it, it into a random city be on another planet. The weird thing is, Eggman's insurance covers this. Well, now we know. Towards the Sonic X cartoon, the cool Robotropolis is not the capital city anymore. And finally, the hey, I think this is how how Earth to Lilac ended too. And holy crap, that was like six months ago. May the master ever watch over you, Shadow. Always. Although apparently not for all the robots down there. Here in Robotropolis. Well, that's it for this year's Villains of the Damned DC Marathon. On. On and. Since we have that what the hell ending, 
that makes it so memorable. Next time we return to normal videos, goes until December, with with a parody of a the Monty Python's Git. But until then, this has been Media League Sigma Six. Be sure to subscribe.